With an eye on the challenges related to food and nutrition security and agricultural production in an era of rapid global population growth and climate change, the International Center for Tropical Agriculture, CIET, began construction of future seeds in 2018, which will open its doors this 2022. Hey Joe, how you doing? Good to see you. Daniel, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, I'm Sean Matson with uh, Alliance of Biodiversity International and CIET, and today we're at Future Seeds, which is the newest gene bank in the CGR network. I'm here today with uh, Joe Tomey, who's the research area leader for uh, Crops for Nutrition and Health, and Daniel DeBook, a, a scientist emeritus who has, uh, was one of the visionaries behind this project to make Future Seeds a reality. Today they're going to sh um, show us a little bit of what Future Seeds is all about. People who are not familiar with what Future Seeds is, could you just tell us tell us what this is all about? Well, Future Seeds is a 10-year journey. It started in 2012 uh, after uh, several discussions that Danielle and myself had about how a new gene bank will have to be uh, established from scratch. A, a gene bank is the collection of uh, the heritage of humanities about several species. In our case, uh, we are holding in trust uh, the major collection of beans, of cassava, and tropical forages. What's really important about this collection is uh, not just the land races, but also the wild relatives of these species that will allow us to, to provide options for the future, depending on the challenges that uh, humanity and agriculture will be facing. We felt that uh, the gene bank for the future has to have three different components. One is a green building uh, to send a message about sustainability. Second is that how to take advantage of the different technologies in sequencing, robotics, artificial intelligence to maximize the knowledge about the gene bank. And third, the whole area of collaboration, uh, training the next generation of uh, genetic resources scientists. So for people who are not familiar with um, what Future Seeds is, could you just tell us you know, what is here? and why is it important to have the, the material that we have in this gene bank? Yes, as you know, uh, Future Seed is the new home uh, for uh, international collections. And the role of Future Seeds, I believe, is to provide uh, people in a global world, uh, people, farmers, partners, researchers, agronomists, with those documented options and to make all these options available so that farmers can continue uh, to raise good crops and all peoples of the world are well fed as a contribution uh, to humankind progress. We want, let's say, a building that was in line with the revolution going on in all digital technologies, including the evaluation of genetic resources. And finally, uh, we also want, let's say, a facility that is, let's say, for the education, to train a new generation. Well, thanks so much for the tour, Daniel. That was great. Uh, wonderful learning more about Future Seeds. John, you are most welcome. All right. Have a nice uh, day. Joe, likewise. Thank you so much for your time and, and telling us more about Future Seeds. Great. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.